Hi everyone, welcome back. So the memory and the heart of my computer got full because this picture is really big. I'm going to make it smaller. So I'm going to click on it and detach it like this. Then right click on an empty area like this and image size. You can skip this step if your computer has enough memory and hard drive. So you're going to make this 2000 by 133 and the resolution is 300. Press OK. It's gonna make the size smaller, but it's still full resolution. I'm going to stick it here again. And now we will bring our flamingo. But make sure that you are selecting the flamingo, not the layer. In my case, I brought the path layer. Select the flamingo, copy, control C and control V. I will name it secondary flamingo. Okay, let's resize it. And I will put it over there because this will be its position. Make it smaller. And I will keep it here until I finish the first flamingo and then we will work on this one. When I was dealing with this memory issue with my computer, I accidentally removed the first flamingo. So I'm going to bring it back. Copy and paste it here. You don't need to do this step if you already have your flamingo. So I just uh, scale it down and I'm going to place it here. Make sure it is behind the first building that we just cut out. This is the main building. It should be behind it. I'm going to move it over there. And I will name it Main Flamingo. One more thing that we need to do is the pole. The pole should be above the flamingo. Now it's under it. We are going to move it above. Let's do that. Okay. And now let's resize this flamingo. I'll make it bigger to somewhere around. I think the size is good. And move it around. We want it to be in the crosswalk. I'm using the arrows to move it uh, very slowly. And I make it a bit bigger. I think like this is good. I'm going to remove other documents because we don't need them anymore. Just to make my computer lighter. Okay, now the fun parts come. We are going to add some shadows to this flamingo on the earth and also on the legs. Shadows and lights to make it more realistic and make it fit this street. So for that I'm going to create a new layer. I will call it ground shadow and make sure that this ground shadow is over the background. Now I'm going to use the brush tools to paint over here to make it like it's sitting on the ground. I'll get the color from here so you have the same shadow color and the blending mode for this layer will be overlay. Now you will choose the brush tool, the opacity is 40 and the flow is 78. Now I will paint over here slowly. So the more you are close to the foot, the darker the shadow will be. Now I'll make the size of this uh, brush smaller to make the shadow for the two. Okay, make it smaller. And I'm going to paint over here. I use trackpad to zoom in and zoom out. You can use the keyboard shortcut command plus and minus. So I'm painting slowly over here to make the shadow for the two. Or the finger, I don't know what is it. But obviously we need to change the blending mode of this layer to the multiply because uh, the overlay is not working very good. 
Before I do that, I want to make more shadow on the ground. I'm going to make the brush bigger. And I'll bring down the opacity to 60 and I'll paint over the ground like this. If you think your shadow is too harsh, you can always make a mask on your layer and remove it. I'll make a mask on this layer. Make sure that the mask layer is selected and your brush should be black color and paint over it to remove. You can take your time and try to make your shadow perfect. Okay, I'm going to change the blending mode for this one. Make it multiply. And then I'm going to refine our shadows. As you can see, multiply works much better. By the way guys, I'm now painting over the layer. It means I'm painting the black color. Okay, let's paint over here as well. I think we are good like this for now. Let's go to the other foot and we will create the shadow for this one. I will increase the opacity for the brush and paint it like this. As we said, the closer the shadow, the darker it is. So you'll try to make the shadow darker when it's close to the foot. Okay, the shadow is too harsh over here in this toe. I'm going to Command Z or Control Z to undo it. I'm going to make the brush smaller and we can go ahead and uh, select the mask layer to remove it. Just like this. Now I'll select the layer again and continue drawing our shadow. I'll make the brush a bit smaller and carefully make this shadow. We are not going to make the shadow for the other side because the light is coming from there. So we don't need any shadow there. Okay, we are good, but I'm going to refine the shadows a bit, especially on this foot. I'm going to select the mask layer and remove it. But make sure that you're making the opacity very low. 11 is good. I will make the size of the brush a bit bigger and I will slowly remove some of the shadow from this fit. I think it's good. Now I will select my layer again and I will paint some of the shadow over here. I think we are good like this now. And now the next thing we are going to do is to create the shadow on the feet. So I'm going to select the main flamingo and I will create a new layer, an empty layer. Make sure that the layer is above the flamingo and press on the option or alt to clip mask it. I will name this leg shadow. And actually we are going to do the shadow for the feet for now. Make sure that the blending mode is overlay and we are going to paint over it. Select the brush tool. The opacity rate is 11 and the flow is uh, 78. I just made the size a bit bigger. Actually the size is good and I'm going to paint over it like this. And the color is the same color that we used for these shadows on the ground. I think opacity is too low. Let's increase it. I made it 47 for now. But it is too harsh now. Let's bring down the opacity a bit. 25. Yeah, 25 is working. 
Again, the closer to the ground, the darker it is. It applies to the skin as well. Let's do it for this side as well. As you can see, it looks much more realistic now. I'm going to make some shadow for the upper side of this foot as well. Let's do it for the lower side now. And I'm going to make some for the upper side, but as you can see we paint over the other leg. I'm going to make the clip mask and use the black color to remove it. Make sure that the mask is selected and we're going to remove it from this leg. Okay, I think we are good now. Let me go back to the ground shadow and I need to fix this uh, two or finger. We need some of the shadow over it. Actually, and red, not over it. And I'm going to make some of the shadow on the finger as well. Select the shadow of the leg and paint over it like this. Okay guys, this is the end of this lesson. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new. In the next lesson, we are going to work more on the shadows and the lights. And we are going to bring our other flamingo into the scene. See you there. It's gonna be a very exciting lesson.